Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on expanding a single bracket with thirds. So you want to expand and simplify these three expressions. Now let's just remind ourselves how we expand out a bracket. If we had say 2 multiplied by x plus 3, then that thing in the front of the bracket we multiply by each of the things inside the bracket. So we do the 2 times the first thing in the bracket and the 2 times the second thing in the bracket. 2 times x is 2x, and then 2 times 3 is plus 6, isn't it? So we'd get that. And the same is true here. So we can use our knowledge of multiplying thirds to achieve this. So we do the 3 times the first thing, and the 3 times the second thing. Well, what's 3 times 2 root 5? Well, remember in a previous video, when we multiply two things together involving thirds, we first multiply the non-thirds together, so the 3 times the 2 is 6, and then we multiply the thirds together. Now, the only third here is the root 5, so we just have root 5. Or to think about this another way, if we have two lots of root 5 and we times that by 3, we then have six lots of root 5. And then we do the 3 times the minus 4, 3 times minus 4 is minus 12, because positive times negative is negative. What about the second one? Root 3 times 4 minus root 3. We do the root 3 times the 4, the root 3 times the minus root 3. Root 3 times 4, we first put the non-third, so the 4, and then we put the third, root 3. So root 3 times 4 is 4 root 3. We always put the non-third first. And then we do the root 3 times the minus root 3. I tend to put the sign in first. What's positive times negative? Well, it's negative, so I'll put the minus in, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. And then what's root 3 times root 3? Well, we're multiplying two thirds together, so we just multiply those numbers together. 3 times 3 is 9, so it's root 9. And then we can subsequently simplify that, so we get 4 root 3 minus, well, what's the square root of 9? 9 is a square number, the square root of 9 is 3. Then finally, C, we've got root 7 times 5 root 7, minus root 2. So the same thing as usual. The root 7 times the 5 root 7. We multiply the non-thirds together first. The only non-third here is the 5. And then we times the thirds together. So the root 7 times the root 7. 7 times 7 is 49. So we get root 49. And then positive times negative is negative. So it's going to be a minus here. Now, what's root 7 times root 2? We're multiplying two thirds together, so we just multiply those numbers together. 7 times 2 is 14, so we get root 14. Now, this doesn't simplify because there's no square factors in 14. Remember, that's when you know if you can simplify a third or not. But the square root of 49, well, 49 is a square number. It's square root of 7. And 5 lots of 7, 5 times 7, is 35. So we get 35 minus root 14. And that's the final answer. If you type these into your calculator, by the way, it will simplify it for you. And these are the expressions that you will get.